so probably around 30-ish, maybe a little bit older. You can see that slight colour in the sky behind. Now, we haven't seen any really big illy balls for a while. I'm hoping they do make an appearance soon. And here, a fork-tailed drongo in the background, chirping away. Oh, he's not going to be too far away from that elephant in case that Ellie manages to disturb an insect or three. Oh, I do enjoy elephant balls. Look at this, this is incredible. Get that marula. <laughs> Incredible power. Now, the marula trees are very much trimmed by the ellies, and it's the big bulls who can reach those high branches. And now, with the drought, they're actually the smaller branches of the marula are what they're eating. There's no real leaves, so they actually eat the whole branch at the moment. Now what happens with the younger branches is that, of course, the trees are pumping nutrients in them for them to grow. Uh, so it's a nice meal if you're an elephant. And of course you have to eat a lot of them. You know, if you're just eating the whole, whole, whole little branchlet. Hey, mister. Uh, very, very sedate. I'm just trying to listen to see if he's on his own or he's hanging on the peripheries of a larger herd. But from what I can hear so far, he's flying solo. And that's not uncommon with elephant bulls, unless they're in must. I quite often will spend the majority of their time either wandering solo or in small bachelor groups. Now, there could be some more bulls around that we can't see. Uh, they can communicate with each other over quite big distances, so there could be some more bulls around but he's rumbling too that we can't even hear. So a lot of the elephant communication is, is in such a low, I think it's is it decibel? Low decibel that we can't hear. Hey, big boy. He might give us a little head shake. Yes, we're right here. He's opened his ears up. He's just reminding us how big he is and that we shouldn't cause any trouble with him. You see the one ear is closing already. He's now decided he's already showed us how impressive he is and that we are su sufficiently warned. Sometimes that open ear is coupled with a, a nice head shake. I'm just going to let him move behind us. I'm not going to move the car. He's smelling us. You see how he points his trunk towards us. There we go. Off to the next bush willow. He's got some leaves. Now I'm just going to roll forward and then turn around. <laughs> 